All new at six tonight, a Lewiston teenager who pleaded guilty to sex crimes will wait to learn his fate as new evidence surfaces in the case. Reporter Hannah Bueller in Lockport tonight. It was sentencing day here in Niagara County Court for now 20 year old Christopher Belter, the Lewis and teen who pleaded guilty to multiple sex crimes when he was 18. Two years ago, a Niagara County judge placed him on a strict probation program. If he completed it with no fault, he would avoid jail time and be granted youthful offender status, meaning he would not have to register as a sex offender. Youthful offenders in New York State are not required to register as sex offenders because if a person is granted youthful offender status, they're records are not available to the public. For a person to have to register as a sex offender, they must be convicted of a crime as an adult or juvenile offender. But today, the judge was unable to begin sentencing. Due to newly discovered evidence, the judge says that Belter did violate parts of his interim probation, including bypassing security measures by probation on his computer to view sexual material. There was also an allegation made in court that Belter had access to a computer to Venmo a family member for a gram of marijuana. Another violation. The judge says Belter has not been completely compliant with the strict probation. We also heard today from one of the other victims of rape who said for her and other girls, Belter was a quote, fire that raged through acres of our lives. She says when she was 16, she trusted that justice would be served and she doesn't believe it has. She pleaded with the judge saying, quote, you have the ability to put this fire out or let it keep burning. Belter's attorney Barry Covert argued his client has been completely compliant with the probation conditions over the past two years. A hearing on this issue is scheduled for September 20th. In Lockport, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.